Hello, this is Andrew Powell again here for another video. Unfortunately, I haven't really been doing too many videos having to do with the zinc. Uh, for reasons I'll explain, but before I talk way too much, uh, I'll just jump straight into the project itself that I'm about to demonstrate. Uh, to begin, uh, the board that I'm using with the zinc chip this time is actually the Z board developed by Abnet. And to begin, of course, we turn on the Z board. And as you see here, the, the OLED, or the LCD display, lights up, displaying a message. And I'll, I'll talk more about that as, the, as I continue the demonstration, but... The first thing to note here is that on the Zinc chip, there's uh, two processing cores. And essentially for each core, AI basically have free RTOSH running on each core. But the software for each core is tailored to be a certain task. One of the main objectives of this project is just being able to use shared memory on the on the the dynamic uh, RAM and the DDR memory, and have both cores kind of operate with each other using that shared memory. So you can't really see it, but as I'm flipping these LED, as I'm flipping the slice switches here, what I'm really doing is for the the first CPU, its first CPU is reading what the inputs are from the slice switches, then saving that information somewhere in memory, and then the second CPU takes that information and then lights up the LEDs with it. That's only one part of the project. The second part is that for the first CPU, I have it connected to the UART, and using the UART, I built a small uh, console screen where you can interact with it and send it, and send it messages. For instance, if I tell it, if I send help, and please bear with me while the camera tries to focus on the screen, it sends back information based on that. And uh, the important thing to note here is that if I tell it, I can actually use the, the console to send messages to the LCD screen. For instance, I'll say, hello world, this is so cool. And as you can see here, and once again, it takes a second for it to focus. This is hello world, this is so cool. Hit enter, it sends a message. The, the first CPU actually receives this information through the UART and responds back with a status message. And if you see here on the LCD screen, and it's going to take a few seconds for it to focus. Anytime now. It says, hello world, this is so cool. It's actually scrolling uh, left to right. But uh, there it is. And once again, it appears very simple, but uh, the main thing to note here is that the first CPU is doing all the, the user interaction uh, via UART or via the slide switches, but then it's saving information to the shared memory, uh, which you can set by uh, setting the TLB att attributes using a particular set of functions. And by doing so, the second CPU it's running. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually running another version, another free RTOS on it, and it's using information to update the the OLED. Now, another important thing to note is that, fortunately, I really couldn't find uh, software. Well, I found software for the the LCD screen here. But unfortunately, I had to take it from Adafruit, which developed it in C++ and rewrite it in C. And that took pretty much a day to get working, but it works for the most part, and. Uh, that basically covers it for this video. I'll probably talk a bit more on the blog, but here's just another video using the Zinc chip. Hopefully in the future, I'll do something a bit more extravagant, but that's not going to be seen for probably not for a while. But uh, more on that later, and thanks once again to anybody who decided to take the time to watch this video. Really appreciate any support that I get, and have a nice day.